Good morning, Arrow. Hello, and how are you doing today, Jonathan? I'm doing great. Man, I'll tell you what, I am so proud of you guys uh, in doing work with Nickelodeon as well as Paramount Plus to bring us a really haunted loud house. I mean, because here we go with that Nickelodeon fun for Halloween. It's big. It's um, it's a big, loud, fun movie filled with jump scares, but <laughs> lots of laughs and uh, there's a ton of stuff in this movie. What I love about it, the color, I, and maybe maybe you know, the way with flat screen TVs are these days, but I mean, it really pops. And, and that kind of stuff entertains me as an adult. And I know what it's doing for kids. It really gets them up as well. I, I really appreciate that because this film is beautiful. The director of photography, our production designer, our costume designer, we really wanted to come together and make a movie that felt like a big gothic horror movie but was also filled with color and fun uh of the loud house and i think we pulled it off i'm really proud of how it looks absolutely well this year the storyline we've got lincoln loud here i totally understand about being you know going to a popularity uh, contest or a, a into a a group of people and things like this but you know he want he wants to skip that family spooktacular this year and it's like wait we've all been there before I think that's a universal. That was one of the things that the script started with that moment as a kid where someone tells you, hey, you're too old to trick or treat. And you're like, wait, yeah, yep. but, you know, there's a line in the film like you're not going to collect tons and tons of free candy. Um, and I think Lincoln is caught at that stage where he's like, should I be at this cool teen party or should I be with my family doing the spooktacular at our house? Um, and of course things go horribly, horribly wrong because mom gives out toothbrushes <laughs> instead of candy this year and the neighborhood does not like that and they revolt. So the house that was the loud house and the spectacular becomes the toothbrush house and this party he's at, all the teens decide to go and trick the house. He doesn't know it's his until he comes around the corner and then, oh no, he's caught in the middle of a siege yeah. of his own house yeah. and that's where it just takes off like he and his sisters and his parents have to defend their house against these uh, teens and it, it gets bigger and bigger from there. I would love to hear the stories from viewers be, that, that have been in that same position because I know that when my mother changed, I mean, she was giving, you know, it, it was no longer all about the candy and stuff. And so and it's, it's but, but we all go through that moment where it's like, oh, but so what I did was I my goal was I'm going to take the younger kids out for Halloween so I can get candy. Ah, You didn't get the candy either when you're when you're the adult. Brilliant. I did the same thing. I, I say I was, you know, the kid that people were staring at on their doorstep and going, <laughs> can you drive? Is that a, is that a beer? Like, are you a little too old for this? Like I was always doing it. And now I have kids. So now I have the excuse to be out there uh, and do it. So you don't have to, that's a, if there's any message to this movie besides Halloween is for everyone, it's that you don't have to choose. Yeah. You can do both. One of the things that I've loved about your stories is the fact that it includes everybody in the family because dad's got his own demons in this one as well. And, that, and it deals with werewolf hunters. Yes. Dad is, uh, there's a great runner in the movie, which is the family loves to scare dad. And Brian Stepanik, who plays the dad on the anime series and in the live action series, he's so funny. So he's constantly getting scared and passing out and collapsing. <laughs> and he kind of hasn't slept and spins into this void where he thinks he's turning into a werewolf. And I won't give it away, but he, he gets furry and, and, and then he gets chased by these, uh, monster hunters and they put a shock collar on him because they think he's a werewolf and he can't talk so he can't tell them that he's not a werewolf he just sounds like rawr, a growling beast all the time and all he wants to do is get some candy for his family and save his family but he is a hard hard halloween we're talking about a really uh, haunted loud house which is on nickelodeon and paramount plus one of the one of the great combinations you've got going on here tricks treats costumes and music i mean it, there's guaranteed fun yes. in this the music is a big part of the loud house one of the sisters luna is a rock star mm -hmm. and she is, they put on a musical performance and there's a song spooky night which is amazing and it's our ode to thriller um and there's a dance performance with incredible choreography great costumes kids coming out of graves um and that's a centerpiece of the movie and then we end excuse me with a cover 
of one of my favorite songs, I Want Candy. Yeah. But it's our loud version <laughs> of I Want Candy. And Nick Urata, who is our composer, and he's also in the band Devachka, you know, he did Paddington and Little Miss Sunshine. Yes. This movie is wall to wall music, wall to wall scares, wall to wall laughs. And uh, I'm, I'm really proud of the music in it, and and it's throughout the whole thing. Well, you know what's really interesting about this? The timing of releasing this is perfect because we're in the mood for Halloween right now. We don't want to have to wait until the 31st. We want our Halloween stories right now. And you get to enjoy it the whole month because it's a movie that you can watch again and again. We're not CBS. We're not putting out the Halloween decorations in August, (laughs) but we're coming out right at at the beginning of, uh, of the month of Halloween. So when you're on the set itself, are, are the colors just as bright or is that, or is that all done in post-production? Because man, to be a fly on the wall on one of those sets to see a scene come to life. It is what you see is what is there. Like wow. often we built that house and all those decorations, the giant pumpkins, the giant spiders, the corn maze, we had to build all that. Um, and we built the neighborhood around it too, because we, our movie's all kids and we were shooting at night, so we couldn't be out in the real streets. So I, no one's gonna know that, but those are all houses that we built so that we could control it and be there. Um, and often I was just looking around and going, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. I mean, I have the best job in the world. I, I think of things, the writers think of things. I meet with the production designer and, and a, a lighting director and suddenly there it is. There is what's in my head and it's beautiful. Is this going to become a traditional thing? Are we going to start seeing, you know, several different years of adventures? I think the Loud House is so full of stories nice. um, that we've done the Christmas movie. We've done yeah. the Halloween movie. We have a season one, which will be on Paramount Plus in January. And we're in the middle. Once we get done with this strike, we're going to be doing season two. So there's a lot more loud coming your way. I cannot wait. I look forward to talking to you again in the future, Jonathan. I would love to have a great Halloween. You'd be brilliant today. Okay. All right. You too.